hi how are you today i will show you how to map your domain to google cloud server that means you can uh, change your dns to google cloud server for your own domain uh, i have purchased a domain movieworldftv.xyz it's a testing domain i purchased purchased it, it earlier uh, i will uh, change uh, this domain's dns to google cloud server uh, that means if we, we if i visit movieworldftv.xyz uh, that uh, browser will redirect me to google cloud server so i will show the process step by step just follow this uh, so i have purchased uh, this domain from namecheap you can use any of your domain uh, which is uh, purchased from godaddy or other providers so uh, changing dns is really very very easy first you have to create a dns uh, in google cloud console so let's go google cloud console first after opening uh, a browser uh, right here console dot cloud dot google dot com here you see i am in my google cloud console dashboard uh, from there click menu click network services and cloud dns uh, first of all copy your domain i am copying my domain movie world ftp movie world ftp dot xyz now press create zone in menu under network services click cloud dns and you will get a cloud dns dashboard in this window press create zone button so give your zone a name i am naming it movie world ftp just i am i i want to keep it uh, something sensible which is uh, relative to my domain you can uh, write anything into it uh, under DNS name, you have to enter your domain name, which is movieworldftv.xyz. If you uh, use dot com, uh, press dot com, but do not enter anything before that, like www dot this kind of thing, do not put anything in this in here. Type a name which you can understand easily, and then under DNS name, enter your domain name, ok. Uh, then press create. ok you see uh, google dns automated automatically created two two records for me one is soa and one is name server uh, if we expand this you see this record here uh, we need this one you have to put this name server onto your name chip or godaddy domains management you will need this name server to configure your domain to this google cloud account now i will create another record press add record set i want to redirect uh, my traffic to my google, google cloud server i already created a google cloud uh, instance before i have the ip address so i want to uh, redirect my domain uh, traffic to that google cloud server i will show you later in this video in resource record type press a do not enter anything here you do not need to enter anything here so under ip address uh, provide your google cloud server or instance ip address i already created a google cloud server before so i am using this ip address ok then press create ok now we have three records but now we need only name server uh, we have to put this name server address to into our domains so i will i am showing you how to put this name server into your domains first you have to log in into your name name chip or godaddy account uh, go go to your domains if you are using name chip account so under domain list you will get your domain and under management i am showing you that process you see under management i see i see my domain here so and if i manage this you will 
you will get this window here ok. okay. Uh, so, in name servers click custom DNS, if you use GoDaddy or other providers you will see a option which is belongs to name server. Every domain providers where you purchased your domains will provide you this facility. You uh, do not get frustrated that uh, your, your user interface is different from mine. Every domain provider wh which you purchase from will provide you name server facility. Uh, they will allow you to change your name server. Keep in mind that. Okay. So, uh, under name server, I am selecting custom DNS. Okay. Uh, you see, I have four uh, name server records, but I am seeing there only two. So, I will press plus plus. Here, I have four input fields. So, I will copy one by one now. Copy dot com dot till dot. Okay. Next one. After uh, putting all my name server into my domain domains custom name server, I will press OK button. You will press uh, your uh, OK button in any of your user interface it will work. So, now, we have mapped our domain with our cloud, Google cloud DNS and cloud server. Now, after few hours if you want to see that your domain is your domain DNS configured successfully or not, you have to go a website which is dnschecker.org dnschecker.org. Okay. In this website put your domain address which is movie world ftb dot x y z in my for my case uh, if i press search button you can see that it found my cloud server ip address instantly so um, our dns configuration is successful i will now show you how to configure your google cloud server so that if e any user press movie world ftb dot x y z they will redirect to my google cloud server which is a which, which could be a static page or a website you know. So, let us do that. So, as we configured our DNS our domain DNS to Google cloud server we will check this is working or not. We will enter uh, in Google cloud server via SSH. So, uh, if we want to enter Google cloud server via SSH you have to first enable access in Google cloud server. I will uh, share another video uh, about how to give your PC access or your computer access to Google cloud server to remotely enter that server. Uh, now, I am using a terminal you can use any type of terminal. So, in terminal uh, you have to write SSH your username or PC name uh, SSH to Joe at the rate of and I will paste my uh, server IP address you know this IP address I already provided in uh, Google cloud DNS uh, which is mapped to my domain. So, I have I want to uh, redirect my traffic uh, if any user hit my domain I will I want to redirect them to my Google cloud server. I already created a Ubuntu server which is Ubuntu 20. So, I am entering that server by this command SSH your user at the rate of your IP address you have to put an space between SSH and your user. Okay. When I press enter now see I already entered in my server. Now, I want to install Apache so that I can check my server is working or not my if I hit my domain it will should redirect my to my server. Okay. So, first I have to install Apache it is a brand new server. So, uh, let me type some command to install Apache. Okay. First, we have to execute this command sudo apt update. Okay. 
Okay. After installing, after updating, I have to run another command sudo apt install apache 2. Be careful about commands sudo apt install apache 2. Okay. It's telling me to press Y if I want to install Apache in my server. Okay, I typed yes. It's installing. You can see that. Then I have to run another command sudo uwo allow Apache. First colon apa c. Okay, another apostrophe. Okay. Now I have to make sure that my Apache server is successfully installed or not. Okay. Then uh, here is my last command sudo service Apache to status. Okay you see that my apache is running successfully in my peer server uh, if i want to visit if i want to check this my apache is installed successfully so i am opening another browser now open a browser and type your ip address directly here paste your ip address directly here if you can see this page if you can see this page then your apache server installed successfully and you can visit your uh, cloud server directly with via ip address now i want to see that if i hit my domain this domain uh, my domain will redirect me into this page uh, let's open a tab and press your domain address and press enter hey nice I have configured successfully my DNS configuration to map my domain with my Google cloud server. You can map any cloud server of yours. Okay, we have to finish this video here. See you next video. Bye.